Stop what you're doing, take a look at the screen, and pay attention. They've added an assault rifle to totally accurate battle simulator. Do you have any idea what this means? This isn't the developers. This is the modders doing this. What this means is the modders are now starting to learn how to bring outside assets into the game. I mean, sure, they're starting with machine guns, but eventually it could be tanks, it could be planes, it could be who knows what. So let's check this thing out. Let's put a bunch on the one side and then a bunch on the other side and see what happens. As you can guess, it's not bullets. No bullets, sadly. That'd be way too cool. Sadly, instead, we have bows and arrows. So what's happened, the assault rifle has replaced the asset of the bow. But there's no bangs, there's no gunshots, and there's no bullets. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Having the gun itself in their hands with the body armor, I love how that- Oh my god, he just took an arrow, but- He's alive? As I was saying, having the gun kind of looks cool, but clearly the modded units don't quite know how to hold on to the gun. <laughs> Also, why are the arrows coming from back here? Okay, sure, why not? This is just a baby step, a baby step in the direction of having these custom assets in the game. And now the <laughs> units are out of ammo. What do you mean they're out of ammo? Every other unit in the game has infinite ammunition. So now they're kind of hump thrusting towards each other and it's kind of weird. <laughs> Having custom assets in the game is a really cool idea and I can't wait to see what the developers are going to do and the modders are going to do to continue to build upon this and add more custom assets. I for one want to see custom clothing. Like for example, if there was a One Punch Man unit, we could have the proper colored outfits or if there was a Naruto for example, we can give him his proper outfit. Guns are cool and all, but could we at least have them bang when they shoot? For those of you who are a fan of the SCP series, you may recognize these three next units because they are monsters from SCP. But what I find very fascinating about this is this guy right here. Look at his head. Look at his eyes. They're bigger than normal. On purpose. I think that's what's really cool here. No matter how many times you spawn in SCP-173, he always has the big head. Is this a sign that the modders are learning how to use these units and to build these units in specific ways? Let's see these SCP units against our lovely quote unquote assault rifle mobs. The white one just got <laughs> wrecked and the black ones got wrecked. And this poor yellow one. A lot of HP. He's still alive. He's up in cushion. But he's still alive. Now, who's going to win? What's going to happen first? Yellow dude dies or the archers run out of ammunition? And by archers, I mean the assault rifle guys. The gunners. So far, so good. Yellow guy is still alive. Yellow guy has a bunch of HP. Ah, uh, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. This is, um, this is something. The modders have really outdone themselves this time. This is the light faction. They're literally glowing. Their shields are glowing, their legs are glowing, their weapons are glowing, their faces are glowing. It's really kind of weird looking to see these units be so fluorescent, so, so, so lit. I don't know how strong they are. All I know is that they're glowing brighter than the sun. On the other side of the spectrum, they actually have dark units. They do not glow dark because glowing dark is weird, but they do have dark Skin, as dark as a shadow, as dark as night. So the light faction does have an opposing dark faction. Here's the question, who's stronger? I know which one looks cooler, but which one's stronger? It's a great question to find out. Also, can we all realize that there's lancers in the files? You guys see this? These massive lancers? They weren't there before, but now they're in the files. And now we can make units off of them and how much HP these units have. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to see what's happening because these light units are so bright. And I think they barely won. This is the jouster unit we were talking about. They have a lance and a shield, and it looks to me like they belong on a horse. Like for example, you don't see a whole lot of armor on their legs, maybe because they sit astride a horse. I don't think the mod has created this. I think this is a future unit coming to a download near you. Let's just fight Jouster versus Jouster real quick. As you can see, spears off of shields, then they smack each other in the back. Shield bashes too, that's kinda cool, I didn't expect that. Guy tried a little drop kick maneuver. Shield bashes, 
What was that flip kick? No one ever told me that jousters were ninjas. Oh my god. They're flopping around like crazy. Um, why do they do those flips? Is it actually an attack? Or is that part of their programming to flip off of their horse when they get hit? Like I'm watching them and I'm waiting for that flip maneuver and I'm not seeing it. Was it a weird glitch in the system? Well, there's one. Um, this is ridiculous to watch, but are we gonna be here all? Never mind, blue wins. That was something else. We've had assault rifles. We've had light units. We've had dark units. Now I bring to you the multiverse unit. This is something special. As you can see, not only does his skin change color, but his shield and his weapon does as well. Even his armor and his cape. And that is not the only multiverse unit. There's a multiverse boss, a multiverse king, a multiverse knight, multiverse heavy soldier, multiverse archer, multiverse soldier. There's a bunch of different units here in this really strange <laughs> multiverse faction. This is odd. Even the arrows on the archer change color. Honestly, if I had to guess, his faction's no more powerful than the light faction or the dark faction, but seeing it like this, it's just kind of weird and cool, but strange. What's this up here? Void Guardian. What's with the void part? Are these like evil demonic ones? Let me slap down all the void guys. Void Archer, Void Soldier, Multiverse. Oh, it's a multiverse giant. Oh, there's a void giant. What have I created? What is going on? So the multiverse had a giant. I did not know that. And the void, why are some of them red and some of them black? Were they all supposed to be black? Considering the giant is black, I figured they're all supposed to be black skin, but they're not. Must have been an oversight by the developers. How about the uh, multiverse faction versus the uh, void faction? Let's see what happens. Here we go. In come the giants as they do a little dance, <laughs> knocking over pretty much every other faction. Multiverse giant getting on top of and destroying the void giant who's still alive. Now void giant flop it over. You okay there, bud? Multiverse knight with a giant two-handed sword. Multiverse armies seem to be winning and seem to be alive though there is the void archer over here on the right hand side void giant kicking the crap out of multiverse units still alive causing damage smashing all the multiverse units but for some strange reason none of the multiverse guys are down yet the void guys are clearly 100 percent weaker than the multiverse ones <laughs> mine is this giant that just won't go down oh good punch double punch i get the feeling we're gonna be here a while i want to give you guys something with a little more oomph a little more impact, a little more juice. This is the Super Euler? Uller? I still can't figure it out. He may look a little simple, but do not let that fool you. I'm just gonna do this, okay? Just gonna do this, and I'm not gonna explain why. You're just gonna have to watch and see what happens. Super blah blah blah, our lovely ice axe throwing machine versus 100 hobbits. Um, sorry for my computer in advance. Let's go. Slow motion, slow motion. Oh my god. <laughs> look, look, this is insane. It is an explosion of axes in every direction. This is one of the most broken, overpowered units I have ever seen in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. One more time, we need to see that one more time, this time versus Ice Giants. Look at the explosion of axes going in every direction as this insane unit floods the screen with ice freezing axes freezing everything let's slow down more let's slow down more freezing everything in its path just destructive you can see the axes exploding out of his hand in every direction opening like a beautiful flower in the spring a beautiful flower of pointy sharp death every single ice shine has been damaged frozen or killed it is just disgusting and at full speed it this is what it looks like it is <laughs> oh my god isn't there a saying something like a picture says a thousand words what does this picture say 